Aloha players, it's Warboss Tail up in this mud and welcome to day 7 of my Project Stunties or Project Dwarves painting project for the month of November. So here are the two great weapon warriors that I have painted up in the last couple of days, my test models. Well, actually this guy was my test model. This guy I just um, painted up for my Warboss tutorial on how to paint dwarves. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Teach you how to paint my guys in this color scheme. And um, so today my, I'm going to talk a little bit about my, about my goals and then we are going to cut away to a couple hours later and see if I get them done or not. So my goal is to base coat all of my two-handed weapon, great weapon warriors. And by base coating, I mean just the initial base coat, not the washes. I'm not gonna do anything with the eyes or the gemstones yet. I'm just gonna base coat my models and possibly do a little bit of the, paint the bases black and then dry brush them with Adeptus Battle Gray just to get started on the basing of it. Um, but I'm anticipating that the metallics are gonna take the longest just cause there is, that's where the most detail is and that's where the majority of color is on the model the, the metal weapons the armor pieces and that's where the detailing is as well for all of the gold so i am gonna go away and do that and we'll cut away to later on in the day and we'll see how much i get accomplished cross your fingers okay so it is a few hours later and um actually lost track of time it's a little bit later than I would have hoped um, but I, I did want to finish so I I think I went to about four hours today getting all these base coats on and they're a little bit sloppy but once the washes are on then we can tidy them up I didn't want to work on them too much before the washes went on so as you can see I used a variety of colors for the sleeves and for um, everything else and what I'm planning on doing is using my How to Paint Blonde Hair for all of the guys with Calton Brown hair um, for like half of them just so some of them have blonde hair while the rest of them have dark gray, black, or light brown hair. So we're going to have a mixture of different beard colors and um, for the sleeves I did Camry Brown on some of these guys just to show how some of them have a little bit more of a, you know, lower class um, look to them. And what I'm planning on doing for the for the hammerers actually is redoing the two hammerer models that I've already done, and then paint, painting tartans on them, uh, which I've seen Dave Taylor do a great tutorial on. Going to DaveTaylorMiniatures.com or I, I think that's the name of his website and he has a great tutorial on how to paint tartans so for the uh, hammerers I'm gonna try to paint all their sleeves up as tartans I know it's gonna take me a lot longer but um, I think that'll be a cool way to separate them and make them look different along with the conversions and um, and the, the generally more bling that the hammerers have than, than the rest of these guys. Speaking of the bling, I tried to give them my, my, my warriors here. You'll notice I tried to keep the gold detailing to a minimum. And um, that is to show that they're not as wealthy and well equipped, or, or maybe not well equipped, but they're, they're not as wealthy as the hammerers, as the uh, elite infantry. So just uh, a lot more utility, a lot more straight dark iron and steel for these guys and um, I think they're gonna look good once I get the washes on so I am going to end it there and um, I hope you enjoyed this little update for day seven um, my goals now for tomorrow are to do the washes and a little bit of highlighting once uh, I'm, I'm gonna go just straight down the line do all the different washes the browns the blacks the greens for the uh, for the green parts and then uh, by the time I get to the end to our banner bearer here the guy at the beginning should be dry and ready for highlighting so washes and started on the highlighting tomorrow and hopefully by Wednesday 
or Thursday be ready to um, get these guys out on the on the playing field and finish their bases and gloss coat them up and be done with this unit. So thanks for watching guys. I, uh, I suggest that you join me if you want to. I, I challenge you to challenge yourself and set your own painting challenge and goals so that you too can get the motivation to, to get something done. Maybe a project that's been on the back burner for a while that you haven't been um, thinking too much about. Now is a great time to uh, motivate yourself. If you've got a camera, post video responses or just leave me some comments and let me know how you're progressing. Got a couple people now that are wanting to participate and um, yeah, it's never too late. Like I always say, just grab a brush, grab your paint and jump aboard. Full steam power ahead. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow.